greetings students today we are going to talk about one of the world's most famous and consumed non alcoholic drinks after water which is tea uh, the tea having astringent bitterness flavor in it and everyone in the countries or all around the world like it very much if talk about the categories it comes uh, stimulated drinks in non alcoholic beverage uh, the tea having a very interesting history and start 5000 years ago in china and uh, discovered accidentally when the emperor and his soldiers was resting into the forest and their servants uh, boiled the water for drinking all of a sudden the tea leaves fall into the water and change its color to the golden color as in curiosity the emperor drink it taste it and like it very much and popularize it all around the china they make it the secret recipe of the china during that time but later on after the british came and the british discovered this recipe of the tea and popularized it all around the world if technically we talk about the scientific name of the tea leaf is camellia sinensis on the basis of fermentations it is mainly categorized in three varieties the first one is the green tea which is a non fermented tea leaves and having a very good health benefit all around the world the second one is oolong tea uh, very popular in china and rest of the world later and the third one is a black tea which is uh, very popular in europe basically let's understand what exactly is a uh, tea preparations and how to serve to the guest in the next upcoming videos please follow each of the following steps paying close attention to details from water to steeping time and final presentation water the famous chinese poet yu lu around 800 bc waxed poetic about the best water to brew tea in vancouver we like to make tea from glacial mountain springs fed by whistler's ice melt this water is icy cold and super rich in oxygen The fresher the water, the more you taste the delicate and complex notes of your tea. In the real world, we suggest water that is cold, low in minerals, and filtered. We particularly like reverse osmosis filtered water. High minerals or hard water is not great because it makes your tea taste flat and oily. Fire. If you use overly hot water with whites or green teas, you can bruise the tea leaves, resulting in a bitter cup of tea. However, other teas, including blacks and herbals, need water that is boiling hot to properly extract all of the flavor. If the water is not right at boiling, black teas will not properly infuse, and you will miss out on all the wonderful middle notes of the tea. The Chinese actually have a term to signify the proper water boiling point. When you see fish eyes, the small string of bubbles or simmering, that is the correct water temperature for whites and green teas. If you continue to let the water boil for a few more seconds, you see a string of pearls. This is the right water temperature for oolong teas. Wait a few more moments, and once the water is at a rolling boil, this is the optimal water temperature for black teas and herbals. Be warned, if you are heating water using a kettle, do not overboil your water. Just as soon as the water comes to a full boil, immediately stop the heat. As water boils, you lose levels of dissolved oxygen. The more dissolved oxygen you have in your water, the better your tea will taste. Purify. If you are making black or herbal tea, preheat the teapot by swirling with a little bit of hot water. This ensures your high temperature teas steep precisely at the proper temperature. Say you have a glass or porcelain teapot. When you pour boiling water into this teapot, it will quickly absorb the heat and thereby cool the brewing tea. Remember, you need boiling hot water to make the perfect cup of black tea. If the glass has cooled the water, the water is no longer at boiling. The tea will infuse at a lower water temperature and will not taste as good as we had intended. Leaves. To select your leaves, let's turn to the relationship between fermentation and caffeine content. 
These traits help distinguish between our five different varietals of tea. Caffeine is related to each tea's level of fermentation. White and green tea leaves remain unfermented, so they contain a low level of caffeine. Oolongs, as well as black teas, are both fermented for varying amounts of time, creating medium to high levels of caffeine. Herbals are made from anything but tea leaves, and so do not have any caffeine in them. Having selected your tea, use one teaspoon of tea leaves tea per cup of water. For example, a two cup, 16 ounce teapot requires two teaspoons of tea leaves tea. A four cup teapot requires four teaspoons. When you finish preparing the tea, make sure the tea tin lid is tightly closed. Tea leaves teas are stored in custom, airtight, opaque, food safe tins to protect the precious leaves inside. Store teas and herbal infusions in a cool, dark, dry, low humidity place. Never store your teas on top of a hot surface, such as an espresso machine or a coffee maker. Awaken. Ideally, you should always rinse the tea leaves by pouring a little hot water over them. Swirl and discard this wash. This removes any small pieces, dust, and coaxes the leaves to unfurl, readying for steeping. The removed little bits of tea and herbs have been overly exposed to oxygen. Anticipate. Pour the appropriate temperature hot water over the tea leaves and steep for the specific instructions for each varietal. Please refer to your steeping charts now or tealeaves.com for tea specific instructions. Although these are our general steeping times, each individual blend has specific instructions listed on their web page, tea bag, or on the bottom of the tin. This is the most important technique. The difference between a perfect cup of tea and a bad cup of tea is often only a few seconds. Please carefully follow the infusion time that is listed on our instructions. Steeping times are the difference between a proper balance of flavors, as our blenders intend, and incorrect emphasis on certain flavor profiles of different ingredients. Though we want some tannins to taste the structure of a tea, if you steep tea leaves for too long, you damage the leaves as it releases too many tannic acids into your cup, creating a bitter palate. When people taste bitterness in their tea, the natural reaction is to either dilute the tea with hot water or worse, add a sweetener such as sugar or honey. This dilutes the intended palate entirely. Instead, follow these strategic guidelines to make the perfect cup of tea leaves tea. White tea with low caffeine and high antioxidants is famous among connoisseurs for its delicate yet complex flavor. It is an expensive and luxury tea. Whites have the fairest liqueur, staying within pastel greens, off-whites, and fair golds. Green tea is known for its mild, subtle taste. It is fragrant and refreshing, and often known as a superfood for its high antioxidant levels and vegetal palate. This is the tea that is most frequently made incorrectly, from steeping too long. Green tea liqueurs are a range of greens, from pale green to bright emerald. Oolong teas are recognized for their orchid-like aroma, layers of complexity, and benefits to the digestive system. With medium caffeine and fermentation, oolongs are prized by aficionados. Oolongs result in a warm brown liqueur. Black teas are high in caffeine, fully fermented with a brisk, full-bodied flavor. Black teas have a rich bronze liqueur. As with wine, a tea's character is determined greatly by subtle differences in soil, climate, and elevation. Cool nights, dry weather, and bright sunny days combined provide the optimal conditions for growing tea. This type of climate forces the tea bush to expend all of its energy in the growth of new shoots. The finest teas come from gardens of high elevation where cooler temperatures slow leaf growth, producing leaves with a more concentrated flavor and aroma. Finally, turning to herbals. Because herbals are not from the tea plant, but a compilation of herbs, spices, fruits, and flowers, they do not have any tannic acids. 
As such, you can steep herbals for as long as you would like, as they principally do not become bitter. We recommend steeping herbals for at least five minutes, as the longer you steep them, the more powerful the infusion becomes. When you steep herbals for a long time, they release more of the health properties into your teacup. Herbal liqueurs result in a variety of colors, ranging from fuchsia to deep purples and golds. So what did we learn? Varied steeping times depend on the tea leaves' rate of infusion, oxidation levels, and recommended liqueur. Blacks and oolongs present a bolder flavor with extensive steeping, while greens and white teas require a shorter steeping time to retain a mild, balanced flavor. Perfecting your steeping time perfects the flavor of the delicate teas and prevents bitterness or bland flavor. Let's talk about using different types of teapots to control infusion time. Different cultures use a wide array of teaware. Though some are more traditional than others, depending on the varietal of tea and the ceremony, each teapot can be used universally and interchangeably. Today, we will be using five different teapots, but again, these can be used with any of the five varieties of tea. If you are using a teapot with a built-in infuser, simply remove the basket of tea leaves before serving. If you are using a teapot with an exterior strainer, you have a few choices. Choice number one. In some hotels, the traditional English tea service calls for a teapot filled with tea leaves. There is a second teapot that is filled only with hot water. You pour a half a cup of tea into your teacup, and then, depending on the desired strength of the tea, dilute with hot water from the second teapot. This is not a great system, and although it does have much historical significance, we do not recommend it. Choice number two. If you are using a teapot with an exterior strainer, you may use the exterior strainer to strain off the loose tea leaves by pouring the tea into a second teapot. We call this the two teapot method. This is the absolute best way in order to make your loose tea. The tea in the second teapot has been perfectly made. If you are using a French press, or tea leaves tea press, your tea and herbals will continue to steep until you gently press the plunger down to the bottom. Once the plunger is at the bottom, you will notice the tea will stop infusing. The tea or herbals are pushed all the way to the base, where the water cannot easily pass through the leaves to produce more flavor. If you press down on the plunger and then decide your tea or herbals are not strong enough, simply pull the plunger back up. The great thing about a French press is that you can easily control how long you want your tea to infuse. And, if you change your mind, you can simply restart the infusion by pulling the plunger back up. Present to the guest. Differing varietals of tea may be served plain or with various condiments, including sugar, honey, milk, or lemon. When you are choosing health, consider which condiments you might use with your tea or herbals. We suggest using honey instead of sugar. Lemons are also a healthy choice, because they are rich in vitamins. If you like milk, try using soy or rice milk. We recommend whites, greens, and oolongs to be served plain. Blacks and herbals may be served with a variety of condiments. Let's see how to serve the tea to the guest. Equipments needed to serve the tea. First is salver, second is teapot, third is cup, saucer, then tea kettle, teaspoon, milk creamer, sugar boat, sugar tong, and tea napkin. First step is arrange the salver. Just make sure the heavy weight should be towards yourself. Second is carry the orange salver to the guest table. Make sure the condiments required for the tea service is based on the types of tea. Step 3 is place the sugar boat on the table first. 
always serve the tea from the right hand side. Step 4 is place the saucer and the teacup in front of the table. While placing the cup and saucer, make sure the handle of the cup should be in 5 o'clock position and the teaspoon handle should be in a 4 o'clock position. This is the standard position for placing the cup in front of the guest. Next step is pour the tea from the tea kettle. In this example, we are serving the black tea, which is usually served along with the hot or cold full cream or skimmed milk as per the guest choice. Step 6, ask if the guest wants some milk or not. While serving the milk, you can ask the guest when to stop pouring the milk. Place the saucer in front of the other guest in the same way. Similarly serve all in a clockwise direction. That's all about the tea service. Dear students, from a very long time you are having the tea, but I hope now seeing these videos you are having a better understanding about the tea, its origin, its preparations and its serving. Keep enjoying, keep learning and keep drinking the tea. Thank you very much. Have a great day.